Welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm James Carter. Today we have a critical topic, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM. We're joined by Dr. Lily Wang, a cardiologist specializing in inherited heart diseases. Dr. Wang, thank you for being here. Thank you, James. It's a pleasure to be here to discuss this important condition. Let's start with the basics. For our listeners who may not be completely familiar with it, could you define hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and its primary cause? Certainly. HCM is a genetic heart disease where the heart muscle, most commonly the left ventricle, becomes abnormally thickened. This thickening can make it difficult for the heart to pump blood effectively. The primary cause is typically a mutation in the genes that produce sarcomere proteins, which are the building blocks of the heart's contractile muscle fibers. It's an autosomal dominant condition, which means a person only needs to inherit one copy of the mutated gene to be affected. The symptoms seem to vary widely. What are the key symptoms that healthcare providers should be looking for, and what's the significance of a family history? The clinical presentation is incredibly diverse. Many people are asymptomatic, while others might experience shortness of breath, chest pain, or palpitations, especially with exertion. A very significant red flag is a history of syncope, or fainting, particularly during exercise. In younger individuals, the first and most tragic sign can be sudden cardiac death. A detailed family history is crucial because of its genetic nature. We need to ask about any history of sudden death, especially in young family members, as this can be a key to suspecting HCM. In the emergency setting, what diagnostic tools should be prioritized for a patient presenting with suspected HCM? In the acute setting, an echocardiogram is the most valuable and rapid diagnostic tool. It allows us to visualize the thickened heart muscle and assess for obstruction of blood flow. An ECG is also essential. It's often abnormal in HCM patients, showing signs like left ventricular hypertrophy. A thorough physical exam might reveal a systolic murmur, which can change in intensity with different maneuvers. These initial steps are vital for guiding immediate management and the subsequent consultation with cardiology. HCM is a known cause of sudden cardiac death, especially in young athletes. What are the primary mechanisms behind this, and how do we stratify risk for these critical events? The main mechanism is a life-threatening arrhythmia, most commonly ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation. The thickened, disorganized heart muscle creates a substrate for these dangerous electrical disturbances. We stratify risk using several factors, a history of prior syncope, a strong family history of sudden cardiac death, extreme wall thickness on imaging, and abnormal blood pressure response to exercise. Based on this risk stratification, we can identify patients who may benefit from an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD, which can deliver a life-saving shock if a dangerous arrhythmia occurs. Finally, can you provide a brief overview of the management strategies for HCM from medication to more advanced interventions? Management is tailored to the individual. For symptomatic patients, medications like beta blockers or calcium channel blockers are often the first line of treatment to reduce symptoms and improve quality of life. For those at high risk of sudden cardiac death, as we just discussed, an ICD is the gold standard. For patients with severe obstructive symptoms that don't respond to medication, we may consider an invasive procedure like a septal myectomy to surgically remove the thickened heart muscle or, less commonly, alcohol septal ablation. In rare end-stage cases, a heart transplant may be the only option. Lifestyle modifications, like avoiding strenuous competitive sports, are a key part of management for all patients with HCM. Dr. Wang, that was incredibly insightful. Thank you for sharing your expertise with us today. My pleasure, James. And to our listeners, thank you for joining us on Emergency Insights. We hope this discussion provides you with the knowledge to better recognize and manage hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in your practice. Until next time, stay informed and stay vigilant.